Yo, what's going on, YouTube? It's the Kid Aubrey, aka Staten, aka Juice God, aka Wave God, aka whatever God you want me to be. You understand what I'm saying? Just associate with me with a God because my COD skills are superior than everybody else. You dig what I'm saying? But I want y'all to go ahead and sit back, drink some water with lemon, and enjoy this commentary, enjoy this gameplay. You know, shout out to Alpha Wolf Pack. Shout out to Alpha Wolf Pack 5. Hold up, I had to burp. Excuse me, y'all. Shout out to Alpha Wolf Pack 5. That's my friend from school. I just got done balling with him, playing basketball with him. He crossed me, but we're going to talk about that a different day. It don't matter right now. Anyways, this gameplay right here Hardcore Domination on Genesis. I dropped a nuke. Um. We joined late. This was round one. We were losing. We were down by a lot. But by the grace of God, we came back because my COD skills are superior, as I said in the beginning of the video. So don't question my COD skills if you want to live. You dig what I'm saying? But anyways, in this video, I just want to let you know. I just want to talk to you about something because this has been on my mind for a long time. Never did this video, but I think I'm about to do it right now. We're going to talk about my COD wish list. Okay? My COD wish list. Now... In order for you to know what the fuck my COD wish list is gonna be, you would have to know what the hell games I like. So, when it comes to Call of Duty, I am a more of a traditional player. I have no problem when it comes to exo suits. I have no problem when it comes to the damn wall running and stuff like that. But it's certain stuff in this game that I think is goddamn horrible. Let me talk to you about this shit. Infinite. Let me. We're just gonna start with Infinite Warfare. We're just gonna go backwards. No, no. You know what? We're gonna start with Ghost. I'm gonna start with Ghost and work our way to Infinite Warfare. When it came to Ghost, you die hella fast. Ghost was kind of fun, you know what I'm saying? The maps were huge, and then Ground War, I think, was just broken. I don't think it was. Ground War was the only thing you could really play, but it was kind of broken. All you did is run into Sweaty, so you used the goddamn Vector or Remington. It's whatever, though, you know. To be honest, Ghost was not the bad of games. We know it was bad, the kill streaks. They're trying to tell me I go on a 1200 point streak and I get a Helo pilot and that shit is ass. Are you serious? What the hell are you, what are you saying, son? That shit is garbage. That Helo pilot used to be garbage. I used to run support, run the Oracle. That was it, like, it was fun. All I did, basically, in that game was just play TDM. I didn't really play it like that. I kind of hacked, I kind of glitched the game. I didn't even say that. I didn't play it like that. But after, I think, what game was after Ghost? Advanced Warfare? Advanced Warfare. Advanced Warfare. To be honest with you, I didn't think Advanced Warfare was a bad game. I didn't think it was a bad game. I thought the elite weapons were freaking horrid until I got them. Damn it. I can start again. My elite weapons once I got the 15th prestige. Excuse me. I burped again. Excuse me. I just had some Marcos Pizza. You know what I'm saying? You know, so I just shot him Marcos Pizza out. If y'all want to give me a um, promotion or a sponsorship, don't hesitate. Anyways, back to, back to what I was saying. Advanced Warfare, the Elite Guns, they were alright. You dig what I'm saying? Until I started getting the Elite Guns and I started using them shits like a hell. Then my KD went up and everything like that. But then the, the kill streaks were kind of shit too. You dig what I'm saying? The only thing that was good was the Paladin, the Warbird, and the Assault Drone. That's really all I like. And the System Hacks. The System Hacks was OP as hell. They last for like 75 seconds, especially if you have the extra timer on. Y'all see, I just dropped a nuke. Y'all see that new? Y'all see how the screen is going kind of um, dark red? Look at that. Then they host migrated. Y'all see this jump? I want more for us. I want people to stop dashboarding in Call of Duty 2018. You dig what I'm saying? Anyways, you know, the streaks were horrible, but you know, the game was kind of good, son. They, you know, and then BO3, the wall running, it was ridiculous. The verticality in the map was ridiculous. But to be honest with you, I kind of like BO3. I think I regret not playing it more. I'm only 8th prestige, level 55. And this level, you can go to 1,000 levels in that game. That's too damn high. You need to stick to goddamn 11 prestiges, 15 prestiges, and keep it at that in the beginning of the damn game. I believe so. But the Infinite Warfare, Infinite Warfare, I have no problem with it. It's just the streaks are garbage. My only problem with these streaks is... How come these freaks are like worth 1500 points and they are garbage like they're not swarm level they're not low star level they're not they're not they're not K9 unit level these streaks are ass like these streaks are freaking ridiculous like if you're going to keep it like that keep it to like kill streaks I'm tired of score streaks I'm sick of score streaks I think just kill streaks needs a straight comeback okay you can't camp I don't think you should be able to shoot down a damn Blackbird, like this is retarded, it's whatever, man. You need to bring back some gunships, bring back an AC-130, bring back a Pavlo, keep the nukes, keep get rid of the damn 10, 10 loadout slots you got, and keep it basic. That's what I think you should do, man. You can incorporate some of the new movement, maybe the cosmetic items, but that's really it, man. I ain't got nothing to say. I'll be going on a rant. But anyways, if you enjoyed this video, let me know. 
and I'm going to holler at you guys. Peace.